Hello rail fans, and welcome to another French Ride Trains Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this BNSF GP60M. The GP60M was exclusively ordered by the Santa Fe, which later merged into the BNSF here. And externally, it's like many other Jeeps of the era, except the thing that's unique about this one is it has a wide cab. So I thought this was unique enough for us to build, so let's get right into it here. As usual, the first step is going to be to take out a dark oak stair to be the coupler. And we'll get it attached up here. Then, we're going to come underneath it and put a dark oak fence gate for an air hose. Delete these fence gates on the locomotive behind it and replace them with dark oak fences to be the connected hoses and air lines. Then on the next block down, we're going to put three polished blackstone blocks on the middle of the rails, and then an upside down polished blackstone stair facing outward on either side. Then five polished blackstone above it. This is going to be the rear end. In front of that, a three block tall T-shape, and then we put an end rod down on each rail. In front of that, a five by three of polished blackstone. Then we're going to take an oak slab, put three across the top over here. Then we're going to take netherite for our first set of wheels. We're going to get netherite on each rail, one block back from this. Now we're going to take upside down deep slate tile stairs. We're going to put a row of five coming across the rails. Then we're going to skip forward a block and another row of five facing this way. Delete this one we use for placement, turn around and in between there a row of five facing the opposite way. Then we're going to take netherite, skip a block forward and delete the one we use for placement. Get netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then back to our stairs and upside down facing this way here. So our stair pattern should look like this from the side. Next, we're going to open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here. And we'll also open them into the ends of the wheels on this end down here. Then we're going to take a polished black stone block and we're going to fill in this top middle three coming down the length of this truck. We're going to come two more rows past where those fence gates are. Then underneath this end one, we're going to put three on bottom. Then switch to a polished blackstone stair. And we're going to put a row upside down facing outward. That's nine blocks long in total. Once you have nine blocks, put three regular blocks across the end. And then same thing on this side, upside down stairs facing outward to fill in the bottom of the fuel tank on this side here. Then we'll switch back to polished blackstone block and continue filling this top middle three and above the fuel tank. We'll stop above the fuel tank for now. Switch to netherite, skip a block back from this and get netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then upside down deep slate tile stairs, five of them facing this way. Then we skip ahead one, delete that one we use for placement and another five facing this way. Turn around, and in this gap, five facing this way here. Then we'll go back to netherite, skip a block forward. Turn around, and another five stairs upside down facing this way. Then netherite on the other rail here, and an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and into the ends of the wheels down on this end here. Then we'll take out polished blackstone and fill in the top middle three down the length of this truck. Stop above where the fence gates are. In front of that, we need to get a five by three of polished blackstone coming across to both sides of the rails here. In front of that, a T-shaped pattern in the middle with an end rod down above each rail. 
In front of this, on the bottom, we're going to put three right side up polished black stone stairs. On the outside edges, an upside down outward facing stair on either side. Above that, a polished black stone block in the middle and two upside down forward facing stairs on either side of that. Then on the top middle, three oak slabs. Then we're going to take a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and get it stacked to that second block. Delete that one. Put a dark oak fence gate under it for an air hose and then open dark oak fence gates on either side of the coupler. Next, we're going to take smooth quartz slabs and put three of them coming up in this gap here to be the stairs. Same thing on this side, making sure they're on the bottom hip boxes of all three blocks. We'll do the same thing down here. So three slabs in this gap here and three slabs over on this side. Come on the side behind the fuel tank here where we left this extra block of space and stack two strings. Same thing over on the other side. This will hold up our air tanks later. Then we're going to come down on this rear end pilot with a dark oak button. Put one here and one over on the other side to be the spare knuckles. Then we're going to come up on the side of the fuel tank here on the front of it. Put a player head on each side for a fuel cap and then a crimson button next to it for an emergency shutoff. Directly behind that, we're going to run a row of sideways anvils to be the air tank. Bring it down till it's one past the fuel tank on that string we placed, because the air tanks stick out past the fuel tank on this one. We're going to do the same thing over here, so start right by the button and run a row of anvils down till it's above that string back there. Then we're going to come on the sides of the trucks here, and everywhere there's a wheel, we're going to put a hopper in front of it. So one here and one here. Come down to the other end, one here, one here, then we'll do the other side. Hoppers in front of these wheels, and hopper in front of these wheels back here. Then above the truck on the side here, we're going to take a deep slate tile slab and run a row of them on top going from wheel to wheel. Same thing down here, a row of slabs going from wheel to wheel. And then we'll do the other side. A row of slabs going from wheel to wheel here. One more corner to go. A row of slabs over here. Then we're going to take out a bell and on this conductor side in front of the fuel tank we're going to hang the bell right there. Then we'll switch to a chain. Put a chain in these two gaps up here. A chain right here. A chain in these two gaps back here and a chain in these two in these corners. Then we're going to switch back to a polished black stone block and we're going to fill in this top middle three on the third layer up going end to end. Then come on the side here with an oak slab and we're going to run a row of oak slabs on the very top edge end to end on both sides. Now we're going to come on the front end here and we're going to go two blocks in from the front of the locomotive. On the left, we're going to put a black wool. Then skip a block and two black wool on the right with an orange concrete in the middle. Then orange concrete on top of those, a glowstone in the middle, and orange concrete on either side of that glowstone. Then a black wool on bottom behind here on each side, then an orange concrete get three orange concrete coming across the back. Then two outward facing polished black stone stairs on either side on top of it and fill the top with black carpet. Then on the bottom outside edges behind this we're gonna go ahead on each side and we're gonna put one black wool, then two black shulker boxes and then a black wool. Just like that. Same thing over here. Black wool two black shulker boxes, black wool. Then four orange concrete on each side above that. Then an orange concrete in each corner and black wool in the middle for the locomotive number. Then we're gonna take white stained glass block, two of them coming across the front, 
and orange concrete, and two more. Then white stained glass panes, two of them on each side for the side windows, and orange concrete behind them. Then, we'll go ahead and come on top, and we'll fill in the top middle three of this cab roof with orange concrete. On the outside edges, we're going to go ahead and take out acacia wood stairs and put a row of four facing outward on either side above the side windows. Next, we're going to come down to the rear end of the locomotive with black wool. We're going to start in the middle, two blocks in from the end. Put one black wool. Then kitty corner outward, one on each side. And we're going to bring a single layer of black wool forward on both sides here, all the way till it meets up with the cab. So just keep bringing it forward until you get right here. Then above that, right behind the cab here, we're going to make a column of three orange concrete coming up. And we're going to bring that all the way around the locomotive, three high. So bring it down, come right around this end and start coming back up this side. When we get up by this cab, there's only one orange concrete there because we're going to leave space for a door. Then on this outside edge, right in front of this doorway, we're going to put two black wool on bottom and then one orange concrete on top in the corner so there's stairs to that door. Now come on top behind the cab here and put three black wool right behind the cab. Then behind that on each side of the top, we're going to put three polished basalt coming back on each side, making sure the pattern goes vertical so it looks like the air intakes. Fill in the middle with black wool. Behind it, we're going to make a C shape facing backwards out of black wool and we're going to put a smoker in this middle block for the exhaust. Then we're going to come down to the rear end here, put a black wool on each of the rear end blocks, a bedrock in the middle. Then extend bedrock up the middle, another six blocks here. On the sides of the bedrock, put a row of iron bars. Same thing over here. This will make the radiator vents look a little bit more detailed. Then we'll go ahead and fill in the rest of this roof line coming three across with black wool till it meets up up here. Now the dynamic brake blister on this one is shaped differently than on all the other EMDs we've built in the past. So instead of using stairs for this like we normally do, we're going to use walls. We're going to need a polished black stone wall and a cobbled deep slate wall. We're going to come on the side, one block in front of those iron bars, one polished black stone, then four cobbled deep slate, then two polished black stone. Same thing over here. One block in front of this, one polished black stone, four cobbled deep slate, two polished black stone. Come on top above this polished basalt section, and on the very top we're going to make a 3x3 three three of polished black stone slabs. Then we're going to make a C-shape of dark oak trap doors around this exhaust. Then we're going to move down to the very back middle, polished black stone slab, make a plus shape, then a second one, and a third one. In the middle, we're going to put oak trap doors. There's three fans back here. Then there's one fan for the dynamic brakes. So come in the very middle of this section where there's the walls on the sides and make a plus shape of polished black stone slabs. Go ahead and knock out the middle block and put in bedrock and an oak trap door above it. In the middle, one block back from the fan, a single dark oak trap door. Then on this conductor side back here, we're going to open back to back dark oak fence gates to be the horn. Then we're going to come up above the cab here. With oak trap doors, we put a row here and a row here. Then we'll take black carpet, fill in the roof with black carpet, black carpet across there, and then we're going to come back here and anywhere that we have not built something, we're going to put black carpet on, even extending out over those walls on the sides. 
just so the whole roof looks uniform here. And then keep it coming back and around these fans too. And three on the back. Then we're going to do our railings. So come to the back here with a birch fence. We're going to come up three here, over one and up one. Same thing on this side. Up three, over one, and up one. On this side, we come up four, and then we come up four over here on this side as well. Then we're going to switch to oak fence, one on each inside, and two on top on each side. We'll repeat this pattern up here. So here we're going to go ahead and come up four. Here we come up three, over one and up one. Same thing here, so come up three with birch, over one and up one, and three right here. Then we switch to oak, one on each inside, and two on top on each side. Now we'll come back down to the back, and we're going to switch to dark oak. We're going to connect that up right here, and run it all the way up this walkway here. When we get in front of these stairs, we come up one, over one, up one, and over two. Then we have to do the other side. So come down to here. We're gonna start on the bottom back of the cab and come straight back with dark oak fences. Until it connects up with the railing we already made. Now we come on the conductor side, on bottom, one block behind the cab, and put a row of four black stained glass pane, then four orange, another four orange, and another four orange. Now the blower is completed. Then we're going to come up here, on the front, and we're going to put a T-shape of black carpet. Then we'll put black carpet in between there, and we'll run black carpet all the way down this side, to the back. We're going to knock out that block there and put a black wall. Then a T-shape of black carpet on the very back, come around with black carpet and bring it all the way up the walkway on this side. All the way up to these stairs and then one on each stair. Then we're going to take out a jungle door, put one here and one in this gap on the nose. Then we're going to put a dark oak sign in the middle right under the headlight here because that's where your BNSF logo is. And we'll go ahead and type BNSF in capital letters on that. Then we're gonna take a glow item frame on each of these fences and then put glowstone in them for ditch lights. We'll also put one over this glowstone to make the headlight look better. Then we're gonna come on the top, on the front, above the windows on the side with a dark oak sign for our locomotive number. And the number for this locomotive here is going to be 133. Same thing on the other side, 133. Now we'll come and work on the rear end here. We're gonna put two glow item frames with glowstone for rear headlights. And then the same thing down here if you want rear ditch lights. Then under the headlights in the middle, a dark oak sign with capital BNSF for the logo back here. And then on the sides, on the top orange block, another sign with your number plates. And here, I just typed BNSF because I didn't realize what I was doing. Make sure you type 133 on those. Then we'll run a ladder up that left hand side there. Then we'll hit our number plates with white dye and then glow ink sat so you can actually see them. Come up on the front and we'll do the same thing. So hit these number plates up here with white dye and a glow ink sack. Now we have to make some banners, so get out a loom and come into it. We're going to use an orange banner and black dye. We're going to put a horizontal on the bottom. This is going to be for the stripe that's under the letter. Then we're going to go to a new banner here, and we're going to put a vertical on the left, vertical on the right, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, horizontal in the middle. New banner. Vertical on the left, vertical on the right, 
and a diagonal. New banner. Horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, and a diagonal. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle. Then we're going to switch to orange die, and for the four letter banners, we're going to put an orange border around the letter ones. Then we can come put it up on the side of the locomotive here. So we're going to come on the side, one block back from the beginning of that dynamic brake blister. On the bottom of the orange, we're going to put four of these stripe banners. And then above it, we'll put PNSF. So it looks like we have the lettering with a black stripe under it. We'll do the same thing on this other side here. So same thing starting right here. We put four stripe banners on bottom and then the BNSF letters above them. Then on the engineer side, one block in from the end, knock out a column of two, put orange concrete behind it, then an acacia wood stair in that gap, and a lever in there for the handbrake lever. Now we'll work on the interior, so come on in through this nose door. And we're going to take out an end portal for a toilet, put it in that corner. Then, take smooth sandstone slabs, stack it up to the window right here, and on this side. On this side, we're going to stack the slabs up till they reach the level of the door there. Same thing right here, and same thing over on this side. Then we'll use our slabs in the middle to make a stairway to get down. And then we'll come down here through this and we'll put a birch door right there. In this back middle, we put a sideways blast furnace and a glowstone. Then we'll turn around. We'll put a glow item frame with an end crystal for a computer, a lever on that side for the engineer, and a slab right there for the conductor desk. Turn around and put in some stairs to be your seats. And now the interior's done. And there we have it, folks. We've completed this BNSF GP60M locomotive. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.